Thank you very much. This is Jim and Kathy, but this is Samantha and Shane, and they are two of the volunteers here, representing a lot of you out there. Um, I want to thank you for welcoming me here. I want to thank all of those who support this wonderful, wonderful program, including Steve Pagliuk, who is going to be honored tonight, my longtime friend Alan Solomon, and all the others who, who give financial support to this endeavor. I want to thank all the donors of all the products from cradles to crayons and all those who work here. And to the members of the press who are here, I, I want to say uh, that I'm honored to be here for several reasons. One is uh, most of you out here know that Lynn Margario conceived this and then we spirited her away and she's worked a lot of her time the last three years on my AIDS initiative around the world this year. We'll be providing uh, antiretroviral medicine to 110,000 people in 20 developing countries, 30 countries who weren't getting it two years ago, and we're saving countless thousands of lives around the world thanks to no small major to her work. And the reason, the reason that I wanted to be here is I think both what we're, what she's doing there and what all of you and she are doing here represent the, maybe the great hope for our country and the world in the 21st century. The, I tell everyone that when I was president, two things of surpassing him, uh, historical importance occurred that I can brag on because I had nothing to do with them. <laughs> that is, I happened to be there when a long tidal wave reached its crest. The first was that in the 1990s, for the first time in all history, more people lived under governments they voted in than under dictatorships on Earth, for the first time ever. The second, and perhaps of equal importance, is we saw an explosion of new civic organizations like this one. In international circles, they're all called NGOs, non-governmental organizations people banding together as citizens to solve problems in their communities and across state and national lines. I see it everywhere I go. When the end of my term, I, I began to meet with these NGO leaders in new democracies, wherever I went. But I think sometimes we forget in America, even as we get concerned, uh, for example, about the victims of the tsunami, something I care a lot about. and I agreed to head the United Nations effort for the next three years to try to make sure we finish rebuilding all those communities, it's sometimes we ignore the needs right here within our own community. And nothing could be more important than getting all these children off to a start in life. One of the things that happened in the decade before I became president was that thanks to Social Security and Medicare, the poverty rate among elderly people dropped below 10 percent for the first time. And for the first time since we have kept statistics, there were a higher percentage of children in poverty than elderly people. Sadly, because of changes in the economy and I believe changes in social policy that should not have been adopted, that's gotten worse. And there are more and more children in this community and every other community in this country who are born every day into struggling families, who do not have enough funds to feed them, to provide them medical care, to pay for their shelter, and make sure they have basic uh, safety equipment, basic clothes, basic toys, the basic tools of creativity, which are so profoundly important in early childhood. So the idea that you have all these hundreds and hundreds of volunteers and all the people contributing and that you have 200 social service agencies helping you to identify the families and the children in need it's a mind-boggling development in such a short time. I would like to see this model carried forward in other communities throughout the country. Yes. Because we, we, every one of us has a big stake in seeing that every one of our children gets off to a decent, dignified, complete, healthy, nourished start in life. Every one of us. And 
I can't think of anybody anywhere in the country that's done a better job than you have. I am very grateful to you. I'm very proud of Lynn and grateful to her. And I'm honored to be here tonight to, uh, to be a small part in tonight's events later to raise a little more money so you can dramatically increase the number of children you're helping in the years ahead. Thank you.